Freak here. Today, I am here to review Monster High Freaky Fusion Hybrid Avea Trotter. I am not sure if it's Avea or Avea, but I kind of like the sound of Avea a little better, so I'm just going to call her Avea for now. Why I do not know is because I haven't seen the movie yet, and I'm a type of person that learns through movies, so if I mispronounce her name, please forgive me. She is one of the dolls that I was most excited about from the Freaky Fusion collection, so when I found her at Toys R Us for $24.99, I was super excited. So without further ado, we're gonna get right to her packaging so that I can take her out of it. As we all know, Monster High is amazing with their packaging design. I am not sure if they're going to keep applying this design with other dolls, but with Freaky Fusion dolls, they have changed their packaging. If you look at it from the top, you'll see that the box has jagged cut along the edges, which I thought was really cool. The box itself has a very large view window to show the beautiful doll inside. And along the paper border, you'll see a lot of electric bolts to show like the monsters getting fused together because this is called Freaky Fusion. On the bottom of the box, you'll see a logo of Freaky Fusion and also an illustration of the doll that you're purchasing, which in this case is Avea Trotter. And as you can see, she is the hybrid of a centaur and a harpy. On the top part of the back packaging, you can see a full body illustration of Avea Trotter and also a short bio. Here is the close-up of her bio if you want to pause the video to read. And on the bottom of the back packaging, you can see a short paragraph about Freaky Fusion. Okay, so now it's time for me to open the packaging so that we can take a closer look on her. Let's take a look at some of the other pieces that she came with. Just like any other Monster High doll, she came with this skullet brush, which is actually in yellow. I don't think I've ever seen other Monster High dolls that came with yellow brushes, so this is kind of new. But other than the color, it's pretty much the same. She also comes with her own diary or journal. And you can see on the corner there's spider web detailing drawn. I will actually flip through the pages slowly, so if you want to pause the video to read it, go ahead. beautiful Avia Trotter. Before I begin, I want to quickly point out that she did not come with a doll stand because she is able to stand on her own. As you can see, Avia has very pale grayish purple color skin tone. She has two colors in her hair. Her hair is a very nice mix of blue and aqua color. And as you can see, she has a very high ponytail. Her hair has very big chunky curls as you can see. On the head, she is wearing this small top hat which has hot pink feather detailing on the side. And as you can see, to secure the position of the hat, they created these straps which goes around her head. Because she is supposed to be part horse, she has horse ears, but her makeup is very much harpy inspired. As you can see, she has very nicely sculpted dark grayish purple eyebrows, and she has really extravagant eye makeup. Around her crease area and her under eye, she has very hot pink eyeshadow, but towards the outer side of her eyes, they have added these feather details, which I thought was just brilliant. They have used hot pink, pale pink, and lime green colors in the feathers, and her lips are very dark purple. Because she is part harpy, she does have her wings, which has really nice gradient of black to green. Just in case you guys are wondering how the wings are held in place, they are held in place by this elastic basically. She does have sockets on her back and it's okay to just you know, use the sockets and not use the elastic. But if you do not want to lose her wings, I would highly suggest to leave the elastic on. I have to say her outfit is actually quite simple, but then they made this outfit so beautiful by adding really extravagant accessories. 
We're going to take a look at the clothing pieces first and then I will show you the accessories that she is wearing. So inside she is wearing this aqua blue color short sleeve top which has ruffled on the outside she is wearing this short sleeve blazer which is in like reddish hot pink color with lines in black and lighter pink. And as you can see right here her hands are casted in black color to make them look like she is wearing gloves. She has blue ruffles to make it look like her gloves have ruffles. On one arm she is wearing red bangle which is very chunky. On the other arm she is wearing the slimmer bangle in purple color which spirals around her wrist. It's all in one piece. See? I really love when companies pay attention to little details and Monster High totally blew me away with this piece of detail. They actually gave feather-like details on her arm because she is part heartbeat. I really appreciated this detail and I thought it was just really brilliant. Now let's get to probably my favorite piece of accessory that Avia is wearing which is her chain belt. You can see that her belt has a lot of chain detailing which connects to the bodice of her horse body. I don't even know how to explain this and I don't even know if there's a proper term for this kind of accessory on the horse. I don't think this is a saddle. This is definitely not a saddle but it kind of creates the illusion of a saddle in some way. On the chains she has horseshoe charms and tiny little spikes on the leather part of her belt. So I know a lot of you guys are probably wondering how her body connects to the horse part of the body. It was one of the parts that I was most curious about. So I am going to take of her belt and um, remove her top so that we can see how her body connects together. So guys, can you see right here? This is how her body connects to her horse body, which is pretty much how you would imagine a centaur to be. And the thing is, um, even though she is not jointed right here, her chest piece is jointed so you can turn her body. See? Okay, now let's take a look at the horse body part of Avea. Her tail is actually made with synthetic fiber using the same colors as her hair. And her tail is kind of in a ponytail too. What I thought was really interesting is that she has skullet and dots all over her left hind leg. If you guys are into My Little Pony like myself, you guys probably thought of Cutie Mark right away when you saw this, right? On the other side, however, you will not see skeletons and dots on her hind legs, but you'll see something else on her foreleg. On the right side of her body, she has skeletons and dots all over her foreleg. And on all of her legs, she is wearing these black cuff-like things. Um, you can see the cuff is quite long and it has leather belt detailing on the side as well. And if you actually take a look right here, you can see that they added detailing to the bottom of her legs. There is no extra joints on her hind leg except for the hip part. However, on the four legs, you'll see three joints. You'll see one connecting to her body, one in the knees, and one in the ankle part, if I can bend it. See? So three joints in the four legs. So that was my quick review on Avea Trotter. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Before I go, I want to give quick shout outs to Purple Cheese TV and Zanye Hatet. I'm so sorry if I mispronounced your name. Thank you guys so much for watching my video. So here's me saying hello to you guys like I promised. Hi guys! If you aren't one of my wonderful subscribers yet, please feel free to click the subscribe button below to stay updated with my toy videos. Just as a reminder, you can also follow me on Google+, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. Until next time, bye guys!